Oh, you look wonderful. Yeah. How are we doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm mm. Olivia. Olivia, I've been probing Lockie about what he wants, but what would you like in a gentleman? Don't say me. Mm, no, what? Well, no. Um, First pie of the day. Well done, Lockie. I have to say, Liv, um, watching the show that you're on... It's called Made in Chelsea, Dean. Oh, God. Your relationship... Um, is questionable. With, with Digby's up, down, up, down. So, what? Are you, I suppose, what are you trying to find? Someone's been having a Google on the cab ride here. I think someone who's more suited to me. I think I have a habit of going for these wet wipes. I hear you, Liv. I've been intimate with a few wet wipes myself over the years. Jake? Yeah? Um, a quirky thing about myself would definitely be the fact that I'm into girls with nice feet. Oh, no. Lovely feet. Feet? Did you want to kiss? He said yes, but left it for the second date. No, no, that is so not what happened. Oh. <laughs> so, what did happen? Let's have a look back at that moment. And yes, they're having a quick hug, but hang on, Jake's going in for the kiss. Oh, and he's missed. Yep, you can clearly see there. He went for the lips, but Liv, it's a training gown routine. Classic swerve. Well played, Liv. I like the fact that you were like, uh-uh. A little mm. bit of a boundary there. A nice one, Liz. Yeah. So you're going on a date with Jake. Mm. We know that we want to begin to work on vulnerability. Don't uh, tell me you want me to talk about something touching with him. How did you know I was oh, going to God. say that? But tactile means like physically, like what, holding his hand or something. Tactile doesn't mean you have to shag him over the dinner table. <laughs> oh, sorry, do I look like that? Well, no, you don't. No, I don't. Yeah. Of course not. Like, like okay. look, watch, watch this, watch this. We're just sitting here talking. Oh. I can't believe you said that. That was incredible. Do you know what, Paul? What's that? It's not a problem. I want to really? leave, okay? Right yeah. now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um... I was going to go for a beer. Don't have a beer. Have something stronger. OK. All right. I, let, let me stop you there. I cannot stand it when people do impressions of my accent. It's just insulting. If he keeps this up for the rest of the date, this is not going to end well. I don't actually speak like that. You do. You do. It's a good <laughs> thing. Don't worry. Don't get yourself stressed out about it. Oh, the last time Liv looked at someone like that was when the butler didn't put enough caviar in the swan sandwich. I need to go to the toilet. I was talking metaphorically, but, you know, better out than in. To the what? I need to go to the toilet. Bad. What do you mean, the loo? Would you ever say toilet? No, I call it a fucking shitter. What? Shouldn't she call it like a uh, yard, the defecation station, yard? What's your usual type then? Like Viking sort of looking. Weirdly, I like guys with long hair. Yeah. Um, but I don't have like a specific physical type. It's got to be chat, I guess. Yeah. Someone who's funny. Not very funny. I can tell. The thing is, like, people will assume, okay, because you're good looking, you're a little cheater, and you're a little wanker. But that's not the that's not the case. I'm actually quite well behaved in a relationship, but when I'm not in a relationship, obviously it's You're different. A back. Hmm. I've never had an STI, so I'm all good. High standards then. Neither have I, but I've not had sex. Thank the Lord. I'm not jumping into bed with the wrong people. They might be, though. The guy has to wear the trousers. So, you're, yeah, I was wearing trousers. At least outdoors, when you're at home, she can have a bit more, like, control or say or whatever. I think I'm beginning to see a lot into your sort of how you view things. So you, when you're out, you're the sort of controlling one and she's got to pretend like she's the pretty little girlfriend who says fuck all. Oh, she's got you there, mate. No and no. But yes because and yes, I think. No. What's the worst date you've ever been on? Um, all right, I've had one. I wouldn't say it was that bad, yeah, because I still, I still pumped at the end of it. You still pumped? Yeah, like pumped, like... Fist pump? Pumped iron? Pumped up the jam? What is it? Sex, like pumping. Oh, oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Can OK, you... so I still pumped at the end of it, so... The date had gone home, he just found a mirror. So, basically, anyway, she wet herself on the date. Excuse me? Yeah, she... Was she as in pissed herself? She weed herself. Wow. Just wow. I've, like, sort of put my hand on her leg, like, I like, was wet. Anyway, like, got back, like, I've pumped her. The next day she's gone. That expression's so low end, you can't say I've pumped her. Really sounds like you no, just... pumping is cute. Cute? Yeah. It's revolting is what it is. I thought you were quite a bantery person. You're quite straight and... I think you're putting me on edge. That's what it is. Are you nervous? Yeah. Why? No, I'm not nervous. Your sweat patches say it differently. Yes, mate. The only thing pumping on this date are your armpits. So have your other dates gone? He had a good time. I've only gone with one other guy, and he was quite sweet. You like sweet well, guys? Nice guys, obviously, are nice, but they need to have a bit of, like, 
something to them. What would you say I am? You? Mm. Mm, a disgrace, no. A bit of a liberty. I think you're doing a disservice to liberties there. I'm a liberty. Yeah, just some of the things you've said is deeply shocking, if anything. <laughs> Look, I'm just honest. That's all it oh, is. I think there's honest and then there's... Casual sexism? There's brutal honesty. I think, you know that expression, think before you speak? Mm. Mm. Who needs to think? When you're pumping. <laughs> you, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think you're just a bit cautious, that's what it is. Yeah, that'll be it, just blame the woman. Tell me about the food from Brighton. It's actually very sweet. Enjoy. I think I've dated an, enough people who sort of do what we sort of do. What? Fuck all? And I think that is also really hard, was really hard in my past relationship, was that we were so on top of each other all the time. Oh. I knew, as I knew as I was saying it, you'd go like that. I don't want to know the details, OK? Oh, you'd love to watch. <laughs> Danny, your lashes are huge. I know, they're a bit like spider's legs. They're wonderful. Oh, I read a fucking article the other day. This was shocking, actually. Someone had written an article saying they couldn't possibly understand how I was only 25. And now I, I'm like, hang on, do I, how old do I look? Code Red, Tom, I repeat, Code Red. 35. Careful, remember your training. No, but that's because you have gravitas. Nice. A weight and authority and good. A wisdom that's way beyond your ears. An old bitch, really. Yeah. Shit! He agreed with old bitch when you didn't evac. Stat! Hungry? We're so hungry. No, no, what are you joking? What's, what have you just been doing? Nothing, had a chat. No, we actually had a chat, I swear. We had a chat, didn't we? Good chat. We had a chat about, we had a chat about, um... What about? <laughs> you leaky game ball joist? <laughs> you guys are making this a lot worse than what it was. If you ever put your hand across the table, I would swat it away. Have I, have I tried? Have I no, tried? No, thank God. I'll okay, at least see now that. Sorry, are we in string fellows? This is not a pole up. I really like him. We've got this chemistry and I want to kiss him all the time. Do you? We hadn't noticed. I'm really happy. Like, you can see my face. Oh, my God. Yeah. See you soon. Amy, come on. Yeah, come on, Amy. You've made it awkward enough for him tonight already. <laughs> My dating oh, buddy. I've been probing about Brighton. Oh, well, How did you both get on? Well, she got her leg up, I think. No, I'm joking. I'm I'm you just said no. that. No, no, to be fair, you and him are adorable. Yeah, I'd better yeah. be invited to that wedding. Yeah. Yeah. So it got very steamy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Was there tonsil was tennis? Wet weather down in Brighton. I heard Amy ended up with a warm front. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. full what, on. What an opener. What I know. Yeah. Um, I am a photographer. Mm. Fine art nude photographer. So oh, wow. Photograph naked girls. I do that. Less of a job, more of a hobby, although the judge disagreed. What, it's men as well? Or are you looking to do that fairly soon? Or is it no, I actually... It's an upcoming project with good-looking, handsome, well-mannered Blokes, young you, men. take your clothes off, get outside, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, you do your PT thing, is it is that more about fitness or as in do you learn a lot about diet? It's like... both. At the gym, there's a nutritionist, there's a sports analysis like... So do you know about nutritional stuff? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. Nothing sexier than nutrition chat, apart from, you know, anything. Ebola. You know, I'm not going to sit here and bore you about nutrition. Too late. Listen, he's trying to do it. Pretty sure it was you that started it, Liv. How do you describe yourself? Um, uh, how would I describe myself? You tell me. Caring, loving. Caring and loving? Mm. Well, man. Favourite sex position? The yummy mummy jizz on tummy? The two spout teapot? It's an absolute mess, but fun. <coughs> Doggy. Do Good answer. Yeah. You've just gone off in my books. Yes. You're quite a character. I like it. I like someone with a bit of personality. I like to have a laugh. Yeah. But I also feel like you have a sensitive side to you, but you're not quite... Oh, no, it's the first yeah, date, my no, friend. You... That sensitive side will not be coming out. Look, Liv, I just, we need to just address the elephant in the room right now. We have actually slept together, so, yeah, well, don't choke us. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> it, was you, like, it was, like, it was, like, ten years ago. You there telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, was like, I just remember being happy I was there, and I was like, here we go, and you're like, Was I really like, like that? Yeah, you were so bossy. I was just like, God, I don't know if I'm doing it right. And then you're like, no, do this. I was like, that's a... I was made... What a fuck. Is anyone in your house, by the way? No, no, <laughs> no. Now you're fine, Liv. Just the two of you. No-one will ever hear this stuff. 
I was definitely amateur, not even semi-pro. And I took you up to you, pro. No, no, you were giving me pro, like, pro things to do. And I was like, I'm not there. Like, oh give, give me God. missionary. Do you know what I mean? What, when anyway. I was saying, bend me over or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll stop that. Better stop there is what I usually hear during sex. I don't know if you've been on the apps. Have you been on the apps? Be on the apps? Oh, no, I haven't, actually. I think people on Tinder yeah. or whatever, they just meet up for a to cheeky bong. Yeah. Potentially. But, but how often do you find that you've seen a photograph of a girl and she looks beautiful and then you get to her front door and she does not look that way? By her front door, do you mean a vagina? You're, by the way, a lot better looking than your photo. You were good looking at your photo, but oh, yeah. you're actually a lot better in person, That's which good. is a good thing. I'm pleased. I'm pleased it's worked out that way. <laughs> Talk to me about your modelling. So when did that start and then finish? Yeah. Uh, so I got spotted when I was, like, 16. And okay. it was, like, full-time when I was 18. I left, uh, I left university and... I heard this, that you went to Oxford. I did so go to Oxford. very intelligent. I'm thick as shit, so oh, I'll just laugh good. and say yes. That's, that's all I'm looking for, really, you know, so this is <laughs> ideal. Wasn't ditzy blonde. Exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. No, you I'm looking it. for someone that keeps me on my toes. Okay, so good. I feel like you, you might be good so for I'm that. I'm looking for too. There we go.